What's up, bro? So testosterone levels, it's something I've been super interested in and looking into a lot recently, looking into a lot of papers, looking into a lot of YouTube videos on just like endocrinology in general. And I wanted to make a video talking about the basic habits that are going to just destroy your testosterone levels from what I understand and from my experience. The reason I'm so interested is because I'm pretty convinced that I have low testosterone myself personally. I just think I do based on my life experience and based on the way I am. And so it's important for me to be able to actually try and optimize testosterone, not just to because I'm interested in the gym and building muscle and having more testosterone helps to build muscle at the gym, but just because um, it's good for performance, it's good for mental clarity, it's good for focus, it's good for motivation and drive, it's what it's for. And I've got some things on my list here that I'm going to talk to you about today. I think the last one is super important. It's something I only found out about quite recently and not a lot of people talk about it. Um, so we'll get started with the first couple. So obviously the first one, you've probably seen this one come in, is getting addicted to pornography, right? So from a very young age, from about 13 years old, I'd say, I started watching porn, right? Which isn't good but it's not like uncommon as well it's not like weird to start watching porn at that age a lot of guys i know a lot of my friends started watching porn at a similar age which just kind of is a testament to society i guess or how things are going with technology i mean this was back when i was 13 i mean nowadays it's like loads more kids are like more accessible to iphones and the internet and stuff and like ipads so it's probably only going to get worse so i got pretty addicted from quite a young age so it became really important to me about three years ago or maybe two and a half years ago to basically cut the habit right it was difficult to do it and um, it was it was hard but it was something that I, I was doing i got to the point where i was doing it multiple times a day watching porn like two three times a day especially if i was feeling unwell and i was just sat at home doing nothing right i was bored and i just do it and it's a testosterone crusher it is bad and you know you get so many guys right talking online about this in reddit and stuff these fucking um, like black pill dudes or these guys that are in denial, they talk about how it has a and it increases your testosterone, but it, which it does like briefly, but then it goes down below baseline after it. From what the studies show, it's like overall over time, it's going to worsen it. So um, that's the first thing, right? Stop doing that <laughs> if you can, um, and that's important. So uh, and then the next the next uh, thing I'll talk about is staying indoors all day, right? So I used to be this guy who I would literally maybe when I was like 16 um, during like a, actually, no, this is a better example. I'll give you this example, right? So during COVID, um, when everything went into lockdown and no one was like go outside, um, I would literally just stay in my house and I would wake up, play GTA 5, just play it with my friends. We used to do the Kaya Perico heist and we we're all just like making money online on GTA and we just spend the whole day doing that. And the rules were that you weren't allowed to go out and meet people. You weren't allowed to go to any like public places, but there was no rule saying that you couldn't just go outside for like a walk. But I never did. I literally just stayed inside and just played video games, right? And that was a really bad idea because testosterone is hugely impacted by the levels of sunlight that you receive, not in, only into your eyes, but on your skin. So there's two methods that is going to help you by going outside, right? Sunlight into your eyes early in the morning is going to help set your circadian rhythm, right? It's a crucial way of setting your circadian rhythm. The only, the only way that your body knows what time it is uh, or what time of the day it is, is based on the sunlight that it gets through your eyes. So that is the first thing that you need to do to set your circadian rhythm, which is going to be crucial in when your body actually releases testosterone and in what amounts. And the second thing is actually the sunlight getting onto your skin, which is going to provide the vitamin D necessary to build testosterone. So testosterone is built from vitamin D or vitamin D is required to build testosterone. Um, so yeah, get outside more. If you're just one of these hermits who stays inside all day, plays fucking video games and you're playing fucking star citizen and you're playing fucking minecraft and you just sat inside like a little fucking hermit just get off your desk and please 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 go outside just once a day at least please okay super important um okay the next one is kind of similar to that is no exercise right not weightlifting so it's been proven through studies that consistently going to do weightlifting and increasing muscle mass is a great way to increase your testosterone output if you have more muscle to fat ratio in your body that is going to bias your body towards producing more testosterone why is this it was because body fat the fat cells in your body when you when you when you're overweight 
produce um, estrogen, essentially. The fat cells produce it or help to produce it. Um, and it's like estrogenic. So the less fat you have, the more testosterone you're going to produce. And then the more muscle you have, the higher your metabolism will be in the background. So it's easier to lose slash keep off fat. So going to the gym, lifting weights, building muscle, doing all that good stuff is not only has all the other benefits of that, but it's going to help increase your testosterone. And this is the last one that I didn't actually know about until recently. And I think this is something not a lot of people talk about is going the fat free diet. Right. So a lot of my friends talk about this when they're like trying to lose weight or whatever. They'll buy all these ingredients, these cheese, this certain yogurt or whatever. And they'll get the fat free one because they're convinced that um, you know, fat's bad. Fat's bad. Fat's going to it's fat. It's fattening. Right. It's like it's it's just the word fat because we don't want to be fat. We don't want to eat fat. That's just simply not true. Fat is incredibly healthy, the right kinds of fats, right? So fat from like butter, fat from meats, it's healthy fat. It's fat that's needed to actually build testosterone. Um, and it's the most important part of building testosterone is fat. So if you have a completely fat-free diet because you're on the, on the summer shred and all you're eating is meat and eggs and fish and you're having all these fatless foods and uh, you're buying all the fat-free stuff. Well, first of all, the fat-free stuff is really high in sugar, so it's just bad for you. Um, but yeah, also it's not going to help you actually produce the testosterone. So um, you basically need to just change your diet to actually include more fats and you can still include fats in your diet and keep you yourself in a calorie deficit, right? That's very simple to do. Just track your calories. Don't overeat. Uh, on the fat and uh, the easiest way to do this i'd say is just eat like four or five whole eggs a day with the with the actual yolk as well and that should be enough fat to actually keep you going to in terms of testosterone production so that's something i didn't know about super interesting because i did go fat free for a bit uh, when i was trying to lose weight i remember i was on a cut and i used to just yeah think anything that said that was fatty or anything like this so i used to get like the the two percent fat lean beef you know instead of like the uh, five or eight uh, percent fat beef and um, because i thought that would be better for me because it's more lean right but it's not the case right the fat is good for you and um, obviously i'm not talking about fats in terms of like what's in chocolate and stuff and stuff stuff like that right i'm talking about good healthy fats so uh, and you can go and research the good healthy fats in your own time i'm sure you'll better find some um and yeah that's pretty much it if you can just avoid these four major things i'm sure that your testosterone is going to be fine from what my understanding and my research uh, there's obviously other stuff you can do as well supplements and different things but the, i think these are the main kind of biggest game changers for that um so yeah anyway that's about it thank you for watching hope you found this valuable in some way and remember bro just keep improving by one percent every day and you will get there see ya